Hello, welcome back. This is Maurice Dimba, and today I want to show you how we can create connection between the sag rods and uh, the cladding rails and also the roof panels. Initially, uh, we did sag rods, but you, uh, I only showed you on how you can place the sag rods on cladding rails and also the roof panels, but we didn't discuss the connection in, in between the two members. So the connection I'm talking about is between the, the, the rods and the cladding rails and also uh, a connection between the rods and uh, roof pilot. So we, we want to create those connections here. So I'm going to, the tool we are going to use is this, uh, SAG road connection. So I'm, I'm going to select on that. So they want to select on that. We want just to create a hole as it is now, as it is now, if I hide this member, and come to hide select, you, you, you will not be able to see a hole there. So it just it has been just placed there. So if you generate drawings, you, you will not be able to see the hole created there. So the, the, the fabrication people will not be able to identify the exact position where the hole should be drilled. So let's create the connection between the rods and uh, uh, these uh, uh, cladding rail members and also the roof pilot members. So let me just uh, show all here so that uh, I show you how we can create connection in between these members. So I'll come in and apply this tool here under palings and gut connection. I'll apply sag rod connection. I'll select on that. Now, the moment I select on that, you'll be able to see at the bottom end here, you have been requested to select the frame. This will be my frame. So my aim here is just to create a hole here so that when we are doing the fabrication, uh, the hole will be drilled so that uh, when this uh, uh, round bar comes in, it will be slotted in and be bolted. Now I'll select I'll select that, then select the rod here. So the moment I select the rod, you'll be able to see if I minimize this, let me just create a hole on the other end also, I'll select this member and select the rod here. So once I've done so, you'll be able to see the rod is uh, passing through. So if I get rid, if I try to hide this, you'll be able to see we have a hole here. So this is the connection I'm talking about. So let me just go back and show all. So I'll do the same to all. Then we'll populate along the the, length, the full length of our, of our model. So I'll select on that once again, and I want to create a hole. I want to connect that member to this member. And also, I want to connect this member to that member right there. And also connect that member to this member also. I'll also come here and do the same thing here. Let me select on that and also select on this and that. And also come here and select on that and that. Let me select on that once again and connect it with that so that rod passes through. So I'll come and select this member also and uh, connect it to that and also select uh, that cl cladding rail and, and collect that. click on that rod and create a connection. So we are creating a connection in between these rods. So initially, I just show you how we can add the cladding rails, uh, I mean the sag rods on the cladding rails and also on the roof pilings, but I didn't show you how we can create a connection between them. So I'll, set, I'll connect with that and select on this also and pick that. So if I zoom out, I'll also create a connection in between that member and that member, and also create a connection between that member and this member. So you can see the, uh, the rod is uh, passing through the the cladding rails. So I'll select on that once again and select on this also. So if I zoom out and select that member and come back and picking on, on that. So what we are going to do, we are going back on top here and also make some adjustments. So I'll just double click in here. I'll just double, I'll just press press shift and double click on that macro. So I want to make some adjustment. Initially we, we were just creating holes. Uh, to, create, to create a connection, but this time around we want to add some, uh, uh, some some additional plates. So I'll go ahead and click apply, and I'll come here and select on that member, connect that to that, to that. So we have a connection right there. So I'll select this member and select this member also, so that we have a connection right there. Perfect. And also I'll come here and do a same thing here. And click on that. 
So we have created a connection between these two members. So this is how we create connections between the cladding rails and the sag ropes. So we want to create the similar thing at the end and also, uh, so let me do one thing. Let me just uh, populate this along the X axis here. Now I'll select, I'll first of all, control all, press control all and then enter on my keyboard here, then come to profiles, then pick and then check the beam group. Then I'll, I'll go straight to pick the sag rods. So I'll click close and try to see whether my sag rods have been selected. Fortunately enough, everything has been selected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and come to show only selected or uh, show only selected. Or once everything has been selected, let me just show only selected so, so that we see we have everything in place. Now we can show all now. now I've selected everything here. So what I want to do, I want to populate this along the uh, Y axis. So how do I do that? I'll come here and right click and come to special copy here and click linear. So I'll try to mouse over this particular end as I wait for, 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 for the dialog box to load. I'll, I, I can also mouse over here, but since I, I will not be able to see that snapping point clearly, I can just come here under Y axis and feed in negative six meters because it is negative because you're moving against the, the, the positive direction of our X axis. Now, how many do we want? We have nine bays. We have 10 bays, but we already have one in place. So we'll just add nine of that, just make it nine. So if I populate this, all this connection will also be populated along the X axis. So I'll go ahead and click uh, copy. So I give it some time to populate those uh, sag rods along the Y axis. So uh, the moment it's done, I'll be able to show you what has been done. I right click to terminate that command, then close this uh, copy dialog box. Uh, 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 dialog box. Now, if you can see that the connections have been created all the way to the far end here. So this is how you create connections. So if you generate drawings, all these gliding rails will be drilled uh, according to uh, the positions of the sag rods. So initially, I just showed you on how you can add sag rods on gliding rails and also on the roof palings. And we can apply the same things here. We can copy this the other end. So to copy this the other end, just control all then uh, enter 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 press enter button then uh, I'll, I'll i'll check beam group and come to sag rods here and select and close that so i'll try to check whether I've, I've, uh, everything has been selected so i'll right click and come to show selected and we have everything in place so what i'm going to do i'm going to right click and come to show show all so what i'm going to do i'm going to right click once again and come to and come to special copy and pick on linear. So this time round, I want to populate this on the on, on the x axis. So on the x axis, I'm going to change this to zero. Then on the x axis, I'm going to feed this distance here. So this distance from here is let me just zoom close so that I'll be able to snap on the on the right location. So let me just zoom on that position. Then Instead, if you, you are not able to snap accurately, just type in here the exact uh, span in this particular case is, is 15 meters. So I'll, I'll go ahead and click, uh, okay, copy. So if I click copy, I'll be able to see if everything will be populated on the, on the opposite direction. So just give it some time to copy everything. So if I click close, we'll be able to see everything has been populated, but not exactly as we expected because the, our, our measurement is slightly lesser. Uh, I've missed the target. So there we are. So what we are going to do once again, we are going to undo this. So we'll turn our, our, our snapping points to accurate locations. So I'll just click on my, my points of target. So once we are there, and also make sure I can snap on that spot. So I'll come here and press Control All, then Enter on the keyboard, then select on the profile, select the beam group, then pick on the sag rod, close that. So check whether the sag rods, all the sag rods have been selected, not all have been selected. So I'll go back and control all and enter, then come back to beam, then select, uh, then pick on beam group and select on the sag rods and close. So not all have been picked. 
just press control all and do the same thing select profile then select the beam group then select the sub rod then close so this time round i think all of them have been selected and to check that just right click and come to show selected we have our sub rods in place but some have some have been left out you can see that right click and show all then come back again and select everything enter on your, enter on your keyboard click uh, pick on the profile select on that then come to sub group once again until everything gets selected close that so kindly check whether everything has been selected not everything has been selected so the rest we can just select manually so just walk around and check whether any has been left out so we want to mirror this the other end and so to do that just right click and come to special copy and come to linear so once you're in linear we just give it some time to load this uh, particular uh, dialog box so once it has been loaded I'll just zoom close to the bottom end here until I saw that red snapping symbol. So I'll snap on that spot, then move all the way to the other end and snap on a similar point. So one thing that will not work is that this member, let me just mirror that the other, the other end and uh, place it right there and uh, show you the reason why it will not work. Let me just uh, terminate that command first and close that and see whether our 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 sub rods are still in place uh, uh, they are still selected now we want to use mirror mirror command instead of just copying i'll come to mirror then i'll define my mirror line here instead of copying we might lose the target as we did previously now i'll place my mirror line right there then i'll come to options and click run so the moment I click run, we'll be able to now mirror everything accurately. Instead of copying, copying, we might lose the target because the because of the orientation of our uh, cladding grid. So I'll go ahead and close that. So if you come in here, you'll be able to see we have our cladding rails already copied on the other end. So that's how you can do that. So you, uh, I'll give you assignment, you do the same on the uh, roof pilings and apply that. So that's how you create connection and thanks a lot. Let me just first of all walk you through so that you see what has been created. You can see that has been created right there and uh, that's how you can create the sub road connections. So that's how you, you, it's done. Let me just turn that round so that you have a look. Perfect. Now. Let's meet then on another tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Morris Dimba and bye-bye.